Welcome back to the Bronco Nation, your place for all things Bronco. We are here at the Texas Bronco Off Rodeo, located outside of Austin in beautiful Horseshoe Bay at the Gray Wolf Ranch. The Bronco Off Rodeo is an off roading and outdoor playground designed for all skill levels that offers rugged trail drives by off road experts who show you how to get the most out of your Bronco. Our guide today is Amy Clouds. Amy's gonna talk us through three areas around driving your Bronco off-road. Seating position, steering wheel techniques, and interior controls. All right, we have Denise here, and we're gonna show Denise how to properly set herself up to get ready to go off-roading. So you can see she doesn't have her seatbelt on yet. She, the seat is pushed as far back and as far down as it will go. One of the ways you can determine if you're high enough and close enough is by crossing your wrist and placing them above the steering wheel. That way the steering wheel comes right at the bend of your wrist. If you have a lot of space between your shoulders and the seat, one of the easiest ways is to use the pump feature, either the manual or electronic feature, to pump yourself up higher. Make sure your eyes are completely above that steering wheel, and you can actually adjust that steering wheel if needed as well to help either push that steering wheel in, or you can pull it out and it's also tilt. It's also gonna make sure that you have a 90 degree bend in your elbow when you're driving. That way you can have a good firm grip with this left hand while reaching up with your right to engage any tools on that hero panel, make any adjustments to your transfer case or adjusting goat mode dials when you're out on the trails. After you've adjusted that steering wheel and the height, you wanna make sure that your heel is firmly planted on the floor pan of, the, of your Bronco. That's going to help with throttle control and that left foot braking. So once you've done that, if you still need to come forward, that's when you can grab that bar that's really far back between your legs, or you can use that electronic feature to bring you forward. Once you have made the adjustments to your seat, now let's talk about how you're gonna hold that steering wheel when you go off-road. When you're off-roading, you want to make sure that just staying along the side of your steering wheel and passing the steering wheel in small quarter movements from one side to the other, it's called shuffle steering. That is going to keep your hands along the side. Now you don't need to be white knuckled or anything, right? We just want to have a good firm grip. All right, let's talk about our terrain management system. Now, depending on what Bronco you have, that's going to determine how many buttons, hero buttons that you have. Now we are in a Badlands, so we have all six hero buttons. That first button is going to be your stabilizer bar disconnect. That second one is your front electronic locking differential. That third one is your rear electronic locking differential. Then trail turn assist, traction control, and lastly, you'll have your hazards button. Right behind your shifter is going to be your goat mode dial. It's gonna have a bevel that you'll swivel left and right on top of your goat mode dial. You're gonna have four buttons in a circle and that's your transfer case settings buttons to get into four wheel drive or to stay in that normal driving mode. Next to the OK button on the right hand spoke of your steering wheel, there's gonna be another button with three white lines. Some of you have may maybe pressed this button to get to your mileage or your trips, but another feature that is held there is off-road status screen. Whenever you go into your four-wheel drive system, this screen is gonna come up and it's going to hold your pitch and roll. It's going to show your drivetrain and give you your tire pressure, the degree that your tires are angled. So you can use that screen to see everything that it has to offer. As you can see, knowing the capabilities of your Bronco is an important aspect of driving off-road. And we wanna give you the tools and resources to help you feel more capable to take your Bronco off-road. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out some of our other videos on how to take your Bronco off-road. And if you haven't yet, head over to thebroncoNation.com.